Hello everyone. In this video, we are talking about two famous tests that are performed to determine the characteristics of the transformers. The first one is open circuit test and the second is short circuit test. This subject is one of the most popular subjects that you commented in my post in LinkedIn and as I told I will make these videos on the recommended subjects. You can write your suggestion on YouTube comments or in LinkedIn account. My LinkedIn account is written here. As you know we perform short circuit test and open circuit test to determine the equivalent circuit parameters. The open circuit test helps us to determine the parallel branches of this equivalent circuit because our input and output current is very low and we can find these magnetization, inductance and the resistance that represents the core loss in the transformer. And then to figure out the leakage inductance and the resistance of the transformer we perform the short circuit test in short circuit the voltages are very low so the parallel branch can be neglected and we can determine the leakage and the resistance of the transformer now in this video i will illustrate how to perform these tests in ansys maxwell simulation here we have a 3d model of a single phase transformer and first i want to perform open circuit test to model the open circuit we know the characteristics of the transformer the transformer ratio is one to five so the high voltage part the primary winding is connected to 220 RMS voltage here is the peak of the sinusoidal waveform and the resistance of the primary winding is 3.5 ohms here in the primary excitation we just need to define the winding the primary winding resistance and the voltage that is connected to the terminals of the winding and let's see the secondary definition the secondary should be open circuit the secondary winding should be open so i choose the type of the current and define the current as zero it's kind of defining the open circuit i could use another way here in the other simulation I connected the second rewinding to the voltage source with a very high resistance 10 mega ohms so it's almost the open circuit too because we know that the high impedance means the open circuit now let's see the results but before showing the results, I have to mention again in the open circuit test, as we do in the reality, we connect the primary winding to the nominal voltage, to the nominal voltage to get the losses and magnetization current as nominal. Let's see the results. Here is the induced voltage of primary and induced voltage of secondary the ratio is 5 it is a reducing transformer and here a very good question is why the voltage shape is not pure sinusoidal why we have these amount of harmonics we can figure it out with watching the properties of the core material we use a non-linear material so 
if our operation point, if our turn ratio vs the voltage of the transformer, set the operating point after the saturation knee, we will have high amount of harmonics in the current and the induced voltage. This is the intrinsic characteristics of the open circuit transformer. From these results and with having the primary current and the power of the primary side and having the core loss and copper loss, we could determine the parallel branches characteristics. So let's move on short circuit test. As we know in short circuit test we have to get the nominal current from the secondary part. So as the secondary winding is short circuited the input voltage should be much less than the nominal voltage. Here we can see the resistance of the coil is the same with the other test but I put 10% of the nominal voltage to the input voltage of the primary and in secondary winding I used the voltage type for excitation without initial current and I defined the resistance just equal to the resistance of the winding so when we put the voltage as zero we are short circuited this winding with the resistance of the coil itself remember that we have to define the coil resistance in the stranded windings so we must not use zero as the resistance of the winding we have to put the resistance of the coil itself and let's move on to the results here we have the induced voltage of the primary here because we have the secondary current and the flux in the core is reduced we have a pure sinusoidal waveform because we have operation point in the linear part of the BH curve of the core. We have the sinusoidal input, we have the sinusoidal induced voltage in secondary, and we can see the current of primary and current of secondary. As we estimated, the core loss of the short circuit test is very low because the magnitude of the B is very low in short circuit transformer. Here we have 10 milliwatts as the core loss. By comparing the induced voltage of secondary and the current of the secondary, we, we can have the impedance of the equivalent circuit and we can derive the leakage and the resistance. To learn more how to derive these parameters, you can have a quick look on the machine design textbooks. Here we have illustrated how to perform short circuit test and open circuit test and how to use the results. To help me making better tutorials, you can let me know your suggestions in YouTube channel comments or in the LinkedIn comments. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you on the other tutorials too.